Hey guys, today I'm servicing the internal Zinks on a 150 horsepower uh, Yamaha four stroke outboard. It's 2007. Just want to show you where the internal Zinks are. There's three. There's one here on the lower head, and then one there with the other red mark there on the upper head. And then there's one on the exhaust side of it. You can see I've already removed it. See that hole? It's a big nasty chunk of uh, salt buildup. And this is the actual zinc I just removed. It should be kind of square on the tip. This one's pretty worn. Uh, I'm going to hit it with the uh, stainless steel brush just really lightly and see if I can clean it up and see what we have here. I'm probably going to end up replacing them all. They don't cost that much. They're worth it. Um, but you can see here it's held on by... It goes like this. So it's held on by this bolt on the right. It's a 12 millimeter. And then the actual zinc is held onto this plate here. Um, by a 10 millimeter bolt. So you'll want to remove that and the actual replaceable part is uh, the nasty crusty part. Save the o-ring. Um, just some background on this motor. I got it three months ago. I haven't run it in my boat yet. It's just on my stand in my garage. But the uh, the owner said he, he kept it in the marina on his boat. And so the, most of the zincs are pretty well gone. They're still serviceable luckily. They're, not, they're still there. Um, but this one, you can see, is, is totally needs to be replaced. It still does have some metal, um, but not no, another season left in it. But he used to uh, flush it with salt away, he said, when he would get back to the marina. Um, the problem with doing that is the motor is, I assume, is going to be cold but by that point. Because you're using external water, you got to tie up and tie up hook up the, the hose from the dock to your boat. So the thermostat right here isn't gonna open. So when I pulled the thermostat, I noticed that one side was totally clean, probably that it got flushed with salt away, and one side was totally just caked with salt. And that's what kind of led me down to, to researching these internal anodes and everything. So definitely recommend you uh, replace these. I've seen online the prices are from $10 each to $23 each. And like I said, this, this 150 has three of them. So the best way I found to remove these is to remove this one. And then it's all it is. It's not really held in there by anything besides the gasket right now, but it's been on there a while. So it's all kind of crusted on. So I break the seal. This little screw just holds on the anode, but if I twist it. You see the whole thing just twisted. So now it's loose, and now I gotta reach in there. You see, it's pretty deep. I gotta reach in there and grab it with the uh, pliers. And then don't break it. Just try not to break it off. Do it live on the camera. Okay. So that's the top one. See that hole? Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, once I remove all the salt, you can really see it. Oh, nasty. Well, I guess it could be worse because it could be worse because these zincs could totally be gone, you know. And then it'd be eating all the uh, water galleys and the water pastures inside the water jacket and really even though I've seen all the salt in there the aluminum looks great so I guess these are doing its job I just thought it'd be better if the guy was really washing it with salt away uh, but I think the issue is since he's he moors it in the marina he's not on he's not putting the hose on the lower unit like on the muffs like traditionally you know where you'd open up the thermostat so the whole head is not even getting the salt away because the thermostat isn't open. So he's just kind of flushing half the motor. So sucking it out with the shot back, 
uh, I was sucking out here and then blowing compressed air into the top and then I put a rag on the third hole and I'd alternate them that seemed to to work pretty good um, at first I don't know if you can see in the video but there were salt chunks just flying out in my eye and uh, I, I filmed the second pass so the first time was even more dramatic but uh Yeah, I just want to physically remove as much salt as possible because the uh, obviously the chemical and salt terminator um, isn't going to move those big chunks as fast. It's going to kind of slowly eat away. So um, yeah, I'd recommend try to physically scrape out and blow out and suck out as much as you can. Can you see those salt crystals down there? I don't know there. I don't know, half the size of a dime. <laughs> Pretty big. Interesting. Never thought I'd, there'd be crystals that big in there. I'll have to do a separate video of uh, flushing it with uh, vinegar and uh, the salt terminator or separate times to see what works better. 